Vista has a free disk partitioning utility um, that was limited in, in prior versions to Windows, but is now a little bit more robust that allows you to resize an active partition, say your C drive that Windows Vista is already installed on, and uh, cut down the partition down into a smaller portion to allow free space. Once you have free space, you can then repartition that free space into whatever you want. In this case, we want to be able to dual boot. So once that free, free space is partitioned, then you can install Windows XP over it. How to do that is very simple. You'll go into your Start menu. You'll right-click on My Computer. Go to Manage. And then it'll, show, it'll give you a graphical representation of how much space is available and which partitions you have. In my case, I already have an extra partition called the D drive on my computer. And I'll show you that now. And click on Disk Management under Storage uh, when you right-click on My Computer and select Manage. And then it will bring up a uh, list of active partitions and free space if you have any. In my case, I don't have any because I, I'm a geek. So uh, let's take a look here. I have a C drive. I have a um, D drive, which is on the same physical disk. It's represented here by uh, disk zero. So it shows C, and then it shows D. So basically, if you wanted to take your C drive, which is what most people have, you'd right-click on it and say Shrink Volume. And that will pull it down, and then after it's shrunk, you can, you'll then see a free space here. that will, um, And then you can right-click on that free space and then partition it. Once it's partitioned, Windows XP setup will see it, and you can then install Windows XP. Once that is installed, you'll then be able to dual boot simply by starting up, restarting your computer and selecting XP or Vista when you restart.